Hi everyone, welcome to Belfast. I'm Scott and you're watching Planes, Trains, Everything. Now here's a question for you. There are two international passenger trains that leave from the UK. Can you name them? One's Eurostar, the other one is called Enterprise and that operates between Belfast and Dublin. And tonight you and I are going to catch the last train of the day between Belfast and Dublin, the night train. The main station here in Belfast is called Lanyon Place. I think that used to be Belfast Central. If you're old enough to remember that, or if I've got my facts right, please let me know. I'm just ad living here, but I'm sure this was Belfast Central. Then they rebuilt the whole thing and gave it a pretty dull name. Anyway, you can buy tickets on this train online. Once you like catch, you don't get a QR code. Right on cue. You don't get a QR code, you don't get a barcode, you get a booking reference. And from memory, I caught this train a couple of years ago, you have to go to a ticket machine, put in the confirmation number or something, and it spits out the tickets. So we'll find out. In fact, this is Lanyon Place here. What a boring looking station, but it's a great station anyway. Right, let's go in. Well, that was pretty painless. I thought there was going to be a self-service ticket machine where you just type in a reference number and it spits out your ticket. No, you go up to the man behind the counter and he gives you an already printed ticket. How's that for efficiency? Right, we've got about an hour to wait until the Enterprise departs. Well, things are pretty quiet here at Lennon in Place. Hopefully they pick up before our departure to Dublin tonight. I was just looking at my ticket here and it says complimentary hot drink. I thought, good, when you spend four pounds or more on board. Well, I am actually going to go to the cafe bar anyway because I need a cup of coffee to keep me awake. So uh, I'll see you when we're on board. A little bit of confusion, although this is the Enterprise, we have to change trains at Porter Down. I spoke to the guy and I said, uh, why do we have to change trains? And he said, because the engine has failed on the northbound train and therefore it's sitting at Porter Down. By the time we get there, they'll have a new engine and we'll be on our way to Dublin. So we have to change trains at Porter Down. I must say, this is very nice. What a shame we have to change trains in 10 minutes. We are now approaching Portadown.
outside that there was a cafe bar on board. I'm not convinced there is. I haven't been able to find one. Also, I doubt if there's going to be a trolley service because it can only be about 50 people on this train. We are now approaching Dundalk. I recently gave you some genuine Thomas Cook complaints, so to pass the time on this night train, here's some more. Are you ready for these? We found the sand was not like the sand in the brochure. Your brochure shows sand is white, but it was more yellow. It's lazy of the local shopkeepers in Port of Alata to close in the afternoons. I often needed to buy things during siesta time. This should be banned. No one told us there would be fish in the water. The children were scared. It took us nine hours to fly home from Jamaica to England. It took the Americans only three hours to get home. This seems unfair. What point? I like this one. Although the brochure said that there was a fully equipped kitchen, there was no egg slicer. Well, that justifies a complaint, doesn't it? Welcome aboard this Enterprise service. This train calls at Drogheda, Dublin Connolly. This train terminates here. Please ensure that you have all your belongings with you. So what did I think of the Enterprise service? Well, there was supposed to have been a cafe bar or at least a trolley service on board. They advertised that online and also the proof is my ticket, which gave me a complimentary hot drink if I spent more than four pounds. There was no service on board and I was dying for a cup of coffee. I think possibly because it was the night service, maybe there was only 50 people on board, it didn't justify it. There was also the problem it poured it down. And I didn't quite understand what the problem was, but we had to board a, an Enterprise train from Belfast to Portadown, get off that, get on another Enterprise train to Dublin. Now that second train was the northbound Dublin to Belfast Enterprise train, which terminated at Portadown. So it just went Dublin, Portadown, back to Dublin again. Didn't quite work out what the problem was there, but it had something to do with the locomotive anyway. It only delayed the train by five minutes, so it wasn't a major problem. What well, was a good thing with the seats, nice and comfortable, although they don't recline. You don't need reclining seats on a train journey of just two hours. Overall, it's supposed to be the, the flagship service on the island of Ireland. Mm, it was okay. It was okay. Anyway, I'm glad you came along with me, though. I'll see you next time.